Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the new changes and improvements available with Windows 11 build 2000.100. This is yet another small update, but it does include a number of visual changes and improvements for the taskbar and other areas of the experience. So here are the new changes available with Windows 11 build 2000.100. First, Microsoft is rolling out chat for Microsoft Teams, which is a new effort to keep pushing Teams to customers in a, a new way to integrate an easy to use communication system into Windows 11. This is an application that it's now rolling out in stages and not everybody's gonna get it right away. But if you're one of those that gets it, you're gonna get the icon on the taskbar automatically and then just click on it and then you can go through the get started process. I haven't tried this, so I'm just gonna go through it right now. Now I'm just going to authenticate with my phone. And then just confirm your information. And we're gonna click the let go button. So this is a first look at the chat for Microsoft Teams. In this first preview, according to the company, you will be able to sign in at a contact and connect via individual or group chat. And as the time goes on, the company says that will enable audio and video calling meetings and even screen sharing and other capabilities. So once set up, we're just going to close this. You can click the chat button to open the interface. And if you have contacts, uh, right now I'm using a test account, so I don't have any contacts here. But if you did, you can click, you can start a video chat or a text chat. However, at this time, the video chat is not available, so we can only do a text based chat. And this is how that interface looks like, and it looks pretty cool. It's pretty simple. On Windows 11 build 2000.100, the company is also updating the flyout for the hidden items on the taskbar. So now it shows rounded corners, which aligns with the design that we are seeing throughout Windows 11. If you open the notification center, actually it's this one, the calendar flyout now has a button that you can click to collapse the calendar if you don't wanna see it. And there is an option to open focus assist right from the notification center, which I thought it was actually going to open focus assist, but it just opened the system page. But from here, you can just click Focus Assist, and that will take you to those settings. Also, as part of the uh, taskbar experience, Build 2000.100 updates the background color when an application flashes to grab your attention with a softer color to minimize the impact of unwanted distractions, as you can see right here. After some time, the uh, flashes will actually stop, and you will see a slightly red backplate, as you can see right here, and a red pill under the app icon letting you know that the application still needs your attention. Furthermore, you can now right click some of the predefined icons such as search, task view and widgets. And you can choose to hide those buttons if you don't want them. Finally, you can now use the Windows X keyboard shortcut with the M key to open device manager correctly. In addition to these improvements, build 22000.100 also ships with a lot of fixes and known issues. I will be leaving a link in the video description so you can learn more about these changes. And that is all there is to it. These are all the changes available on Windows 11 build 22000.100. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.